Deuteronomy chapter 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side of Jordan in the wilderness. In the plain over against the Red Sea, between Paran and Tophel, Levin, Hazaroth, and Dizahab, there are eleven days' journey from Horeb by the way of Mount Seir unto Kedesh Barnea. And it came to pass in the fortieth year, in the eleventh month, on the first day of the month, that Moses spake unto the children of Israel, according unto all that the Lord had given him in commandment unto them. And after he had slain Sion, the king of Amorites, which dwelt in Heshbon, and Og, the king of Basan, and dwelt in Hashtaroth, and Edre, on this side of Jordan, in the land of Moab, beget Moses to declare this law, saying, The Lord our God spake unto us in Horeb, saying, Ye have dwelt long enough in this mount. Turn you, and take your journey, and go to the mount of Amorites, and to the places nigh thereunto, in the plain, the hills, the vale, and in the south by the seaside, to the land of the Canaanites, and unto Lebanon, to the great river, the river Euphrates. Behold, I have set the land before you. Go in and possess the land, of which the Lord swear unto your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give unto them, and to their seed after them. And I spake unto you at that time, saying, I am not able to bear you myself alone. The Lord your God hath multiplied you, and behold, ye are this day as the stars of the heaven for the multitude. The Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times so many more as ye are, and bless you as he hath promised you. How can I myself alone bear your cumbrance, and your burden, and your strife? Take you wise men and understanding, and known among your tribes, and I will make them rulers over you. And ye answered me, and said, The thing which thou hast spoken is good for us to do. So I took the chief of your tribes, wise men and known, and made them heads over you, captains over thousands, captains over hundreds, captains over fifties, captains over tens, and officers among your tribes. And I charged your judges at that time, saying, Hear the causes between your brethren. Judge righteously between every man and his brother, and the stranger that is with him. You shall not respect persons in judgment, but you shall hear the small as well as the great. You shall not be afraid of the face of man, for the judgment is God's. And the cause that is too hard for you, bring it unto me, and I will hear it. And I commanded you at that time all the things which you should do. And when we departed from Horeb, we went through all the great and terrible wilderness that you saw by the way of the mountain of the Amorites, as the Lord our God commanded us, and we came to Kadesh Barnea. And I said unto you, Are you coming to the mountains of the Amorites, which the Lord our God doth give unto us behold the lord thy god has set the land before thee go up and possess it as the lord god of the fathers has said unto thee fear not neither be discouraged and they came near unto me every one of you and said we will send men before us they shall search us out land and bring us word again by what way we must go up and into what cities we shall come and the saying pleased me well, and I took twelve men of you, one of a tribe, and they turned and went up the mountain, they came to the valley of Eskel, and they searched it out. They took of the fruit of the land in their hands, and brought it down unto us, brought us word again, and said, It is a good land which the Lord our God doth give us. Notwithstanding, you would not go up, but rebelled against the commandment of the Lord your God, and you murmured in your tents, and said, Because the Lord hated us, he hath brought us forth out of the land of Egypt, to deliver us in the hand of the Amorites, to destroy us. Whither shall we go up? Our brethren have discouraged our hearts, saying, The people is greater and taller than we are. The cities are great and walled up to heaven, and moreover we have seen the sons of the Anakins there. And I said to you, Dread not, neither be afraid of them. The Lord your God which goeth before you, he shall fight for you according to all that he did for you in Egypt before your eyes. And in the wilderness where thou hast seen how the Lord thy God bare thee, as man doth bear his son, in all the way that ye went, ye came unto this place. Yet isn't it saying you did not believe 
the Lord your God, who went in the way before you to search you out a place to pitch your tents in, and the fire by night to show you what way you should go, and in a cloud by day. And the Lord heard the voice of your words, and was wroth and swear, saying, Surely there shall not one of these men of this evil generation see that good land which I swear to give unto your fathers. Save Caleb, the sons of Jephunneh, he shall see it. And to him I will give the land that hath trodden up, and to his children, because he hath wholly followed the Lord. Also the Lord was angry with me for your sake, saying, Thou shalt not go in thither. But Joshua, the son of Nun, which standeth before thee, he shall go in thither. Encourage him, for he shall cause Israel to inherit it. Moreover, your little ones, which ye should said should be a prey, and your children, which that day had no knowledge between good and evil, they shall go in thither, and into them. Deuteronomy chapter 2. Then we turned, and took our journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea, as the Lord spake unto me. And we can pass Mount Seir many days, and the Lord spake unto me, saying, Ye have compassed this mountain long enough, turn ye northward, and command thou the people, saying, Ye are to pass through the coast of your brethren, the children of Esau, which dwell in Seir, and they shall be afraid of you. Take ye good heed unto yourselves, therefore. Meddle not with them, for I will not give you their land, no, not so much as a footbreadth because I have given Mount Seir unto Esau for a possession. You shall buy me a meat of them for money that you may eat, and you shall also buy water of them for money that you may drink. For the Lord thy God hath blessed thee in all the works of thy hand. He knoweth thy walking through this great wilderness. These forty years the Lord thy God hath been with thee. And thou hast lacked nothing. And when we passed, by from our brethren of the children of Esau, which dwelt in Seir, through the way of the plain of Elith, and from Ezion Gaber, we turned and passed by the way of wilderness of Moab. And the Lord said unto me, Distress not the Moabites, neither contend with them in battle, for I will not give thee of their land for a possession, because I have given our unto the children of Lot for a possession. The Ammons dwelt therein in times past of people great and many and tall as the Anakins, which also were accounted giants as the Anakins, but the Moabites called them Ammons. The Horams also dwelt in Seir before time, but the children of Esau succeeded them, and when they had destroyed them from before them, and dwelt in their stead, as Israel did unto the land of his possession, which the Lord gave them to them. Now rise up, I said, and get you over the brook Zered, and we went over the brook Zered to the space in which we came, Kadesh Barnea, until we were come over the brook Zered, it was thirty and eight years, until all the generation of the men of war were wasted from among the hosts, as the Lord swear unto them. For indeed the hand of the Lord was against them, to destroy from them among the hosts, until they were consumed. So it came to pass, when all the men of war were consumed and dead from among the people, that the Lord spake unto me, saying, Thou art to pass over through Ar, the coast of Moab, this day. And when thou comest nigh over against the children of Ammon, distress them not, nor meddle with them. For I will not give thee of the land of the children of Ammon any possession, because I have given it unto the children of Lot for a possession. That also was accounted a land of giants, Giants dwelt therein in old time, and the Ammonites called them Zamathans, a people great, many and tall as the Anakins, but the Lord destroyed them before them, and they succeeded them and dwelt in their stead, as he did to the children of Esau, which dwelt in Seir, when he destroyed the Horams from before them, and they succeeded them and dwelt in their stead even unto this day. The Avams, which dwelt in Hazarim, even in Daza, the Kaphtarims, which came forth out of Kaphtar, destroyed them, and dwelt in their stead. Rise ye up, take your journey, pass over the river Arnon. Behold, I have given into thine hand Sion the Amorite, king of Heshbon, and his land begin to possess it, and contend with him in battle. This day will I begin to put the dread of thee and the fear of thee upon the nations that are under the whole heaven, and who shall hear report of thee, and shall tremble, and be in anguish because of thee. And I sent messengers out of the wilderness of Kedemoth, into Sion, king of Heshbon, with words of peace, saying, Let me pass through thy land, and I will go along by the highway. 
I will neither turn to the right hand nor to the left. Thou shalt sell me meat for money that I may eat. Give me water for money that I may drink. Only I will pass through on my feet. As the children of Esau, which dwell in Seir, and the Moabites, which dwell in Ar, did unto me, until I shall pass over Jordan into the land which the Lord our God giveth us. But Sion, king of Heshbon, would not let us pass by him. For the Lord thy God hardened his spirit, and made his heart obstinate, that he might deliver him into thy hand, as appeareth this day. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have begun to give Sion and his land before thee, begin to possess, that thou mayest inherit his land. Then Sion came out against us, he and all his people, to fight at Jehaz. And the Lord our God delivered him before us, and we smote him, his sons, and all his people. And we took all his cities at that time, and utterly destroyed the men and the women, the little ones of every city, we left none to remain. Only the cattle we took for a prey unto ourselves, and the spoil of the cities which we took. From Aurora, which is by the brink of the river Arnon, from the city that is in the river, even unto Gilead, there was not one city too strong for us. The Lord our God delivered all unto us, only unto the land of the children of Ammon thou camest not, nor into any place of the river Jabbok, to the cities of the mountains, nor into whatsoever the Lord our God bade us. Chapter 3 Then we turned and went up out of the way to Bashan, and Og the king of Bashan came out against us, he and all his people, to battle at Adri. The Lord said unto me, Fear him not, for I will deliver him and all his people and his land into thy hand. And thou shalt do unto him as thou dost unto the son, king of the Amorites, which dwell at Hesbon. So the Lord our God delivered into our hands Og also, the king of Bashan, and all his people, and we smote him until there was nothing left remaining. And we took all his cities at that time. There was not a city which we took not from them, threescore cities, all the region of Argam, the kingdom of Og and the Basan, all these cities were fenced with high walls, gates, bars, beside unwalled towns, a great many, and we utterly destroyed them as we did unto Sion, king of Heshbon, utterly destroying the men, women, children of every city. But all the cattle and the spoil of the cities we took for a prey to ourselves, and we took at that time out of the hand of the two kings of the Amorites the land that was on this side of Jordan from the river of Arnon unto Mount Hermon, which Hermon the Sididians called Syrian, and the Amorites call it Shinner. And all the cities of the plain, all of Gilead, all of Bashan, and Salca and Edra, the cities of kingdom of Og and Bashan, for only Og king of Bashan remained of the remnant of the giants, Behold, his bedstead was a bedstead of iron. Is it not Rabbath of the children of Ammon? Nine cubits was length thereof, four cubits the breadth of it, and after the cubit a man. And this land which we possessed at that time from Aurora, which is by the river Arnon, and half Mount Gilead, the cities thereof gave I unto the Reubenites and to the Gadites, the rest of Gilead and all Bashan, being the kingdom of Og, I gave unto half tribe of Manasseh and all the region of Argob with Bashan, which was called the land of giants. Jer, the son of Manasseh, took the country of Argob to the coast of Geshuri and Machathi, and called them after his own name. Bashan have it there unto this day. And I gave Gilead unto Masher, and unto the Reubenites, to the Gadites, I gave from Gilead even unto the river Arnon, half the valley and the border even unto the river Jabbok, which is the border of the children of Ammon. The plain also, and Jordan, the coast thereof, and Chinnereth, even to the sea of the plain, even the salt sea, under Ashtithpaga, eastward. And I commanded you at that time, saying, The Lord your God hath given you this land to possess it. You shall pass over arms before your brethren of the children of Israel, all that are meet for war, but your wives, your little ones, your cattle, for I know that you have much cattle, shall abide in your cities which I have given you. Until the Lord hath given rest unto your brethren, as well as unto you, and until they possess the land which the Lord your God hath given them beyond Jordan, and then you shall see every man's return unto his possession which I have given you. And I commanded Joshua at that time, saying, Thine eyes have seen all the Lord your God hath done, and unto these two kings so shall the Lord do, unto all the kingdoms, whither thou passest. 
You shall not fear them, for the Lord your God, he shall fight for you. And I besought the Lord at that time, saying, O Lord God, thou hast begun to show thy servant thy greatness, thy mighty hand, for God is there in heaven and in earth, and there can do according to thy works and according to thy might. I pray thee, let me go over and see the good land that is beyond Jordan, that goodly mountain in Lebanon. But the Lord was wroth with me for your sakes, and would not hear me. And the Lord said unto me, Let it suffice thee, speak no more unto me of this matter. Get thee up to the top of Pisgah, and lift up thine eyes westward and northward, southward and eastward, and behold it with thine eyes, for thou shalt not go over this Jordan. But charge Joshua, and encourage him, and strengthen him. For he shall go over before this people, and he shall cause him to inherit the land which thou shalt see. So we abode in the valley over against Beth Peor.